Today I'm pleased to announce that Adobe has launched the 2017 edition of Captivate. I've prepared a series of videos on my YouTube channel to give you an introduction to what is new. In this video, I'll show you the enhancements to multi-state object buttons. Let's get started. So here we have uh, a, just a very basic sample project that I've put together here that should illustrate some of the new improvements. When Captivate 9 was launched um, about a year and a half ago, um, I was very excited to see that multi-state object buttons were going to be made available uh, under a lot of different circumstances, especially using smart shapes. But unfortunately, there were a handful of examples where these enhancements didn't show up. One such example is when you placed a button, uh, a smart shape button, on your master slide. So I've done that here in Captivate 2017 and we'll just see it in action here. So here's a table of contents button I've created. It's a smart shape being used as a button and uh, it has of course the object state drop down menu. So I can select the rollover effect, customize it, same thing with the down effect, customize it and truly have a nice rollover effect that I can put on my master slide and it will show up throughout my course on any slide that uses that master slide. So a great way to do table of contents or if you have a persistent button you want to keep throughout the entire course, this is a great solution here. Let's go back to the regular film strip now. One other area where Captivate uh, 2017 has greatly improved over Captivate 9 is the addition of being able to have multi-state object buttons on multiple choice, uh, true, false, all of your quiz question types. So here I've got a submit button, for example, and you can see in the properties panel, there's a state view button, but I also have the object states that I can access directly from right here. Also, uh, similarly, we have a drag and drop interaction on this slide. Um, again, in Captivate 9, your submit button, your reset, reset button, were all fairly static. But of course, now we can go into state view and come up with a completely interactive button that includes both rollover and down states there. Finally, on the last slide here, my quiz results slide, we have a review quiz button and a continue button. And again, just like the quiz question slide, we have a state view opportunity available to us as well. So I can customize my continue button with rollover effects and down states. And the same thing is true of my review quiz button. Let's just do a preview of this and make sure this stuff works. So here we go, and there's my table of contents button that's on the master slide. If I roll over it, fantastic. I actually have a working table of contents rollover effect that exists on the master slide. Let's go to the next uh, slide here. Here we have a question slide, multiple choice. My submit button totally works there. That's fantastic. So uh, let's select the correct answer and click anywhere to continue. Let's do our drag and drop here. Real quick, I'll just place these in the right spots. And, oh, nice, nice rollover effects there as well. And, of course, when we get to our quiz results slide, we can see that I did uh, quite well on this quiz. And it's very obvious that I can click either the review quiz or the continue button uh, and get my rollover effects there as well. If you thought this video was useful, please share it with your colleagues. If you need help building your next e-learning project, consider hiring me. My focus is to create effective learning that helps you achieve your business goals. Visit my website at paulwilsonlearning.com. Follow me on Twitter at paulwilsonld. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel.